Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I'm sure that for each one of us, there are all sorts of things that are going on in our life that we're not sure how they're gonna work out. I know that's true for me, that's true for each one of us, that we look down the road right? And, and we're not sure how something's going to work out. It's one of the things that makes making decisions so challenging is that we don't know what's going to happen. But I have one rule when I'm making a decision that I always make sure I put at the forefront before I make any decision. It's simply this, which one gives God the most glory? Because Left to my own devices, I might make decisions based which ones make me feel the most safe. Not that being safe is bad. It shouldn't be the highest ideal of why we make decisions. Or this is what I really want to happen. Listen, sometimes I'm just being selfish and what I want isn't God's best. But if I ask myself, what brings God the most glory? What shines the light on Jesus instead of me? What lets the world know that Jesus is real in my life instead of me being fearful? That is the decision that we want to make. It's really what you're saying is, who's going to get the glory in the decision? And for the child of God, it should always be, I want Jesus to get the glory. I love what John the Baptist said, John chapter 3. He said, I must decrease and he must increase, speaking of Jesus. And every decision we make should be us decreasing that Jesus may increase. And when we make decisions with God's glory at the forefront, I guarantee you God is going to get glory and God's Kingdom is going to come and His will is going to be done on earth in our situations as it is in heaven. So let's make sure we make the decisions glorifying God first and foremost. So that's what we do. I want you to share this video because we all have decisions to make. And let's put God's glory at the forefront. And in the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who they're making decisions to glorify God and you're super stoked about it. You're like, you see them doing it. I want you to encourage them to keep on keeping on, to keep making decisions that God would be glorified because when God is glorified, people are blessed in all of the purposes and plans that God has. And God bless you all today.